Hi folks, it's Max from uh, GalaxyS3.com. So I've got a quick ROM overview of the latest Pac-Man ROM available for all the Galaxy S3s. I've actually got it running on my all my Galaxy S3s. Uh, let me kind of take one of these and driving me crazy with too many phones. Um, the other day, actually, I was I lost my one of my phones and I went crazy and you know I ended up uh, finding it. But um, yeah. There's good things to having a uh, a lot of phones, and there's also bad things. Anyway, let me go over this. Uh, the latest Pac-Man ROM is a mix of a mix of Paranoid Android CM 10.1 and also AOKP ROM. For those of you who want to run AOKP, you don't want to try a bunch of ROMs. Maybe you you're out of time. Uh, my other one's kind of that's the notification <laughs> sound for this ROM. Um, if you want to run all of these three ROMs without installing all of them, just install this ROM or Jelly Band ROMs, pretty good too. Uh, Pac-Man's another alternative, um, so they're very similar. They pretty much do the same thing, but built by different people, different team of developers. Um, so it may look the same, but um, you know, battery life may be different, performance may be different. So if you have trouble with the other one, or maybe you can try both and see which one's best. Uh, I haven't actually been able to see which one's better. Uh, but this is a very nice ROM, the latest version. Uh, let me go over some of the details here. Um, you get Pi controls, uh, which comes with Paranoid Android. Um, to enable this, you actually have to uh, go into System and go to Power Menu and make sure Expanded Desktop is enabled, visible. Uh, make sure you can make it a uh, status bar visible or hidden. The status bar is the one. The status bar up there, and I've got it actually enabled. If you disable it now, Pi will not work, and you'll get the soft keys here. Um, so if you don't want the soft keys, simply enable uh, full screen. And also, you can disable Pi if you want to. If you don't like it, you can go ahead and go to toolbars and uh, disable it here. Um, Pi trigger area. I'll just do none, and it will not trigger and you will have no soft buttons. Now there's another way to kind of have a fun uh, fun with this ROM is uh, you can enable the soft buttons and you can enable the nav ring targets which is from the AOKP ROM. Um, that you can find in ROM control that's how kind of I like it. I, I really like this navigation bar. Pi is really cool but this is also really cool too. Uh, you see you can go from the bottom um, this one to set this one, make sure you set uh, nav ring targets to five, and go to uh, edit your custom nav ring apps there, and you can set up to five different targets. Uh, with the latest AOKP, you get you get even more. Uh, even, oh, you know what? You can do it here. Uh, you can actually do it here. Enable long press for nav ring. Now you can actually set uh, long press activity. So, for example, for camera, if you if I want to take a screenshot, uh, if I do a long press, just set it there, and this is neat. So you can just hold on to it, and uh, it'll take a screenshot. So very nice way to um, customize your phone. Of course, it is running pure Android 4.2.2 with all of these customizations. You'll get all of the AOKP customization general UI. Some of the things I outline all the time is set your carrier label here. Uh, if you want to set it to instead of Verizon Wireless, um, you want it to, uh, you know, I am high. Oh, dude, I'm an Android. <laughs> and then you can do that. And yeah, see now it's I am high. Uh, and show notification count. Hardware back to kill. Kill all button. Recent RAM bar. These are all recommended. If you see the recents, you'll be able to see the RAM bar. See how much uh, RAM is using. And also kill all apps with the button there. Um, so that's nice. AOKP, I'm not going to go over it since I went over it a thousand times. Hybrid property, this is great. For, uh, this is all from Paranoid Android. I suggest you s leave Paranoid Android colors on, hit apply. And what this will do is, like when you open up the Google Play Store, it'll change the notification uh, colors to those colors. And you can also set those colors um, to your liking. So if I go to the Play Store, you'll see that. Um, my nav, nav bar and also status bar colors have changed and you can customize all of that uh, in Paranoid Android settings here. Go to apps here and uh, if you want go to the Play Store here and go all the way to colors and change the colors the way you want to 
And also by default, the settings on this ROM uh, will look like, um, it will ha actually have a tablet mode. Uh, you can set it to this phone mode also by going to hybrid, uh, hybrid properties, go to apps, go find the settings app, and uh, set DPI to 320 like I did, and change from 720p to 360p. That will get you into uh, phone mode. Now, you know, you can do that with any apps, for example, Gmail. I have did that also on Gmail to get it in, uh, you know, to phone mode. But let's say you want to do the opposite. You can, you know, click on any app, uh, set it a little bit lower for DPI, and also set 600p. Hit apply, and boom, you got uh, tablet mode. Uh, so very nice, paranoid Android, and uh, AOKP all fuse into one. Also, of course, CM 10.1 uh, for stability of CM 10.1. And also, you can have multiple users, which is really nice if you have a uh, kids and you know, you give your phone, you hand off your phone to your kids to play games. Uh, just make a separate account for them, separate Gmail account, um, so they don't use your credit card. I've I've had this actually happen. Uh, one day I woke up and my credit card was charged like 200 bucks, and it was uh, it was all like charged to Hello Kitty points. Um, so having multiple user might be great for that. And I'm actually using Nova Launcher here, um, so I can kind of use the toggle dock there and get get rid of my my dock and use the nav bar ring uh, or you can use the pie if you want to uh, that's up to you uh, but very nice rom if you want to run all of those three roms definitely check this one out and also dsp manager and uh... yeah pretty 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 cool rom and uh... for this right here you can also set one finger swipe go to rom control uh... was that external ui here no, it's sorry. It's I think in system some of the menus are slightly different with this one. Um, there you go, notification shortcuts. No, no. Uh, it's somewhere. Sorry. Um, so you might have to get kind of used to it. Just play with it when you have a lot of time, and play with all the settings, and uh, you'll find out there's a ton of things you can do. And uh, yeah, if you want to run all of those three different. Um, ROMs on one ROM. Now let me give you a note about each of them. Um, it's working just fine on my uh, Verizon Verizon Galaxy S3 here. I've got 4G as you can see here. And also uh, 4G working just fine on my AT&T. It was actually not picking up uh, 4G. You might have to let this ROM sit for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes and uh, change, it will actually default to WCDMA, change it to LTE, GSM, WCDMA, reboot once, let it sit for a while, and you'll get 4G LTE just fine. Um, and also if you're having even more trouble, what you can do is type uh, star pound, star pound, four six three six pound, star pound, star, and uh, you'll get into this phone info menu, go to phone info, and uh, if it's on WCDMA, change it to LTE GSM Auto PRL or LTE GSM CDMA Auto PRL, and then reboot once and let it sit, and it, it will change back to 4G LTE for those of you with AT&T Galaxy S3. So working just fine here. And I've got the Galaxy S3, the GTI 9300, um, working fine there. And also Sprint, and also T-Mobile should be working just fine as there's no 4G LTE. Uh, HSPA signal should be fine. Uh, a word about HSPA Plus, you might actually just see 3G. Um, to check that you're actually running HSPA, you can go to System Settings, um, About Phone, go to Status, and if it says anything like UMTS or HSPA uh, in the mobile network type there, uh, that means you know it's on HSPA even though it says 3G. So don't be alarmed that you don't get 4G uh, or HSPA Plus on AT&T or T-Mobile versions. For Sprint, uh, working fine here. Um, you should be able to get 4G LTE, 3G just fine. Uh, so very nice. So check it out. And also, yeah, one more note. I totally forgot. Um, Google Now. When you install this ROM, make sure you install. Uh, make sure you install. DROM and then install G apps. Uh, you should have Play Store. If you're um, 
if your Google Now search doesn't work for some reason, uh, what you can do, let me hold down the menu button here. If you hold down the menu button, you'll get Google Now, by the way. Uh, what you can do is you can update the Google search app in Play Store. And I just repeat this. So it's force closes. Uh, that's just the latest Google apps just having some trouble. Go search for Google search. Yeah, search for Google search. And update this app, and uh, Google Now will work just fine. So it's not an error. And let me show you the camera also, just in case you guys want it. There is no Photosphere because it's Android 4.2.2. If you want Photosphere, you need to go with an Android 4.1.1 and 4.1.2 ROMs, um, which I don't really recommend. Only the TouchWiz I recommend at this point. There we go. San Francisco Giant score. Oops. San Francisco Giant score. Sorry, I was too far away from the phone, probably. Um, so there you go. It will work just fine. Very nice ROM. ROM of the week. AOSP Pac-Man ROM available for all the Galaxy S3s. Check it out and do let me know what you think. And uh, do let me know what kind of phone you have. And if you have any problems, um, state the phone, the model number. Otherwise, you know, I can't. It's hard for me to help. Um, and yeah, do let me know. And if you have any of the Galaxy S3s, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, Galaxy S. 3 root.com we update you once a week with ROM of the week tips hacks and more and also if you're on YouTube please hit that like button for me here subscribe button down there and I'll see you guys soon uh, have fun with Pac-Man ROM you